<laughs> okay, it's on. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, this is Blaze from Skid Row Photography Club, and we're interviewing for the second, maybe third time, a couple of our club members and great photographers. Yay! Gene and Jojo. <laughs> yeah. Jojo and Gene. And we're, we're talking about a couple of things today. One of the things is we'd like to congratulate Gene, who you might have seen somewhere looking like the lady in In Vogue, but she's also a super mom, and she's also been going through a lot of changes in the Skid Row area, and it seems like she managed to take a good advantage of them while living at the Wine Guard. So tell us uh, a couple of the blessings you just recently received. We just recently blessed, we're blessed with our own place, a nice, beautiful, spacious four-bedroom. Were you town. homeless? Yes, homeless for almost three years. Whoa! Yeah. All right, so you got a spot now. Yes. How many bedrooms? Four bedrooms. How many husbands? <laughs> One husband. And how many children? Six children. Man, so you guys went through the transitional period in Skid Row's Wine Guard Center for about, what, a year or so? Yeah, and before that, Strive. Strive and so on. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what that was like uh, being in transitional living for you. It was it was hard. There were times when I didn't think I could continue the journey because it seemed like I was not going to get housing to be able to uh, reunify with my six children. It, me and my husband was having problems because he had a substance abuse issue. But and he is happily doing what now? He has been clean for almost two years. Yay. He's working full time as a security guard. He Yay. loves his job. Yay. I just don't have anything bad to say about him at all. Yeah, yeah. He, or our situation he's, he's, right he's now. He's one of our heroes. So Willie goes as far as to say congratulations to Cedric. Thank you. Okay. So now, the other thing is that we talked about is your children were separated from you. Mm -hmm. There's a term called separation anxiety, yeah. where a mother wants to see that child every morning and every night. Right. And so they were in where? Foster care. Foster care. So explain some of the challenges, also to the extreme of one of your children being abused in foster care. Ooh. Yeah, my twin son was abused. Um, he was almost four years old at the time of the incident. I was determined to get the lady prosecuted so she wouldn't be able to harm any other children in her care. Luckily, we were blessed with that. She was um, prosecuted back in April of this year. She lost her license. She can no longer care for children, but that was a huge and hard struggle for me to make sure that we were able to get her prosecuted because yeah. it was hard for people to even believe that she had done this because my son is our Autistic. He wasn't speaking to where he could just openly express what had happened to him. So that was very bad. And then towards the end of around this time last year, the courts was trying to actually take all of my children and adopt them out. And uh, I was going to lose my rights, but God overturned all of that. And with my fighting and my friends and everybody's support, we were able to fight against that. So now we're looking forward to being reunified That's right. with all of our children. Let me hear a couple of words on what you think of foster care. Give it a little thought. Maybe four or five words that you would say uh, uh, in your personal experience with, tell them again, how many children? Six children. So you got experience with foster care. At the same time, though, we want to say many of the foster care people were righteous people. Foster yeah, we don't. This isn't. This doesn't depict foster care. But no. certainly, these people need to be weeded out as soon as possible. They need to screen them a lot. Yeah. Better than they do. I think the the foster care uh, program should be the hardest occupations that a person could get because you have to be able to trust them with children. There are so many of them that's in the field that just want the money. Yeah. They don't really care for the children. And I know that life isn't perfect, mistakes are going to happen, but some of these foster parents, they don't need a license. Yeah. When you, I, when I've you, had to report six foster parents. Six? Six. You know what, I think, I, I, and my fatherhood thing, I'm going to look into foster care because I don't think it's right to penalize a parent for not having money, but as soon as you pick a foster care person, like they give them a credit card. Yeah, they get work. <laughs> to do whatever they want to do with your child when they could have just given you a, a loan even. Yeah. Even a loan would have been okay. Yeah. <laughs> a 
Okay, so we also have JoJo here who has to rush off soon because she's like doing jobs and doing all kinds of things also. <laughs> but you were also at the Wine Garden. You guys are part of what? What program? Women's Renaissance. Up Women's there? Renaissance. Women Renaissance. Yes. yes. Okay. So you just came from any well, tell us a little bit about your thing. Are are you in Skid Row because you are a drug addict, a vagabond, a person that didn't work, a no. alcoholic, any of these and why are you no, in Skid Row? I was Row? a professional woman. Um my, I lost my good job back in 2008, in December 2008, and right after that, my father became ill, and I had to take care of him while he was on hospice care, and he passed away two days after my birthday in 2009. Uh, that September, which was in June, that following September, I could no longer afford to keep my childhood home, so I had to uh, give it over to a friend of mine and I had to move out, me and my children. Uh, so I had nowhere to go. Uh, never been homeless before. I didn't know how to navigate any of this stuff. Oh, it's kind an of art stuff. to it, yeah. yeah it's I, an art. You gotta I've learn the game. I've learned a lot over the last two years. <laughs> Went into transition. It's an art. <laughs> Eventually, I ended up down here on Skid Row uh, at the Wine Guard Center. And What's the name of your program blessing. at the Wine Garden? Women's Center. Renaissance. Okay, because we have some good things to say about it. But at the same time, you guys are going through a lot of trials and tribulations you're not even mentioning. Yeah. Because the plight of being homeless, you need therapy. Exactly. You know, exactly. especially when you're attractive looking. You know, a lot of people don't know it. It's difficult to walk the streets of Skid Row when you're attractive. Men constantly are at you because most of the women look so messed up. <laughs> yeah. True? Yeah, true. <laughs> she wants to say it's like that with me everywhere. <laughs> I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! Okay, no, we'll no, cut no. that. I wanna, we'll cut that. I want to so, talk about my job too. I forgot. Job? Go ahead with Joe. Okay, so 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 I commend you because few people are really aware of what it is to be in transitional living. It's not a place to get comfortable. No. It's a place to get it together right. and transition. Exactly. Right? So exactly. you guys have done very well at doing that, and you're about to get your job. And yes, with the major hospital. I'm a phlebotomist. I'm very happy. $25 yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, like being a vampire, right? Yeah, <laughs> not a mind at all. <laughs> and you also are working, Jean? Yes, I successfully got on with the city. Making That's $13. right. Making $13.73 an hour. Yay. Oh, does that mean you yeah. got, like, medical? Yes, Woo. I'm an investment clerk in the library. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, those are two and great I jobs. I what I do. All I do is just put books in order. Joe, Joe, it looks to me like you have something you might want to say. Yes, I do. I wanted to thank Blaze, because this really means a lot, being in the Skid Row Photography Club, because I didn't know what I was going to do around here for, you know, uh, extracurricular activity. Uh, and I happened to pass a uh, fifth in Maine one day and saw something about Skid Row Photography Club, and I saw this guy's name, Blaze. I was like, who is Blaze? What is a Blaze? And so I called. Da -da. That's him. <laughs> so I called, nobody called me back. I'm like, what's going on? I called again, left messages. Little did I know that he was um, ill at the time. I had no idea. Um, and I'm glad you're well again. Thank you. And um, so anyway, um, oh, I, thank God. I did get a call back from Blaze and welcoming, welcoming me into the Skid Row Photography Club. And I was so happy because I love photography. And it's more than just photography. I made a lot of friendships, brought some people in. Gene, for yes. one, I'm so glad. Uh, I tell people all the time about Skid Row Photography Club. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful outlet uh, for people down here on Skid Row because it's not about taking pictures of people in the gutter and trash and all that stuff. It's whatever you find beautiful down here, which for me is a lot of the buildings, you know, and just everything. And I just, I love it. I have a new appreciation for, for Skid Row and downtown, and I just want to thank Blaze. Um, he really deserves a, a lot of the credit for this. I appreciate you. Hey, your check is in the mail. <laughs>